principle of moments for an object in equilibrium the sum of clockwise moments must be equal to the sum of anti clockwise moments now this is an object just say aapne in wheels ko tanga hua they are hung from here so this is balanced and they are asking you to find the weight w now point a is your pivot so the first w is going to give you a clockwise moment this 19 is going to give you a clockwise moment the wheel the second wheel is also going to give you a clockwise moment and this 22 newton is going to give you an anti clockwise moment the only thing is the distances right so w into 0.45 and then the 19 newton distance from the pivot is going to be 2.6 divided by 2 which is 1.3 meters and the distance of the last wheel which is this one is going to be 1.4 plus 0.45 so it's going to be 1.85 so the moment of this plus the moment of this plus the moment of this should be equal to the moment of 22 newton force which is 22 into 2.6 let's have a look at the equation yes here we go so like i said w into 0.45 plus 19 into 1.3 if i can squeeze the diagram as well here we go i think this is better so look at this w into 0.45 plus 19 into 1.3 plus w into 1.85 the whole distance is equals to 22 into 2.6 you solve it and the value of w that you will get is 14 Point one, and that is exactly what you wanted to show. It's fourteen newtons. Then determine the magnitude and direction of the force acting on the rod at end A. Now this is fourteen newtons, right? So this is fourteen, and this is fourteen. When you add these three forces, fourteen, nineteen, and fourteen, they don't turn out to be equal to twenty-two. The total downward force and the total upward force must be equal. बट यहाँ पे जो आप फोर्टीन प्लस नाइनटीन प्लस फोर्टीन करते हो दैट डज नॉट टर्न आउट बीकुल ट्वेंटी टू दैट मीन्स देर मस्ट बी एन अदर अपवर्ड फोर्स टू बैलेंस ऑफ राइट एंड दैट इज द वर्टिकल फोर्स एक्टिंग एट पॉइंट ए विच यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड सो वॉट यू डू इज यू कैलकुलेट वॉट्स योर टोटल डाउनवर्ड फोर्स द टोटल डाउनवर्ड फोर्स टर्न आउट टू बी फोर्टी सेवन अपवर्ड फोर्स वॉज ट्वेंटी टू प्लस द फोर्स एट ए सो द फोर्स एट ए इज गोइंट टू बी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड इट्स गोइंट टू बी अपवर्ड्स the unstretched length of the cord is 0.25 so that means that 0.25 there's no force applied the graph is showing that when the force is zero your change in length which is your final length minus the initial length final length is 0.25 which i can read from here initial length is 0.25 which i can read from there so the extension is zero so i guess it does obey hooke's law and also this is a straight line so it will definitely be a hooks law the reason why it's not going through zero zero is because you've plotted the actual length this is the original length the final length and the initial length when the force is zero so if koi force nahi lagayi hui to final length or initial length same hai that means extension is zero hence it obeys hooks law uh, next you have to calculate spring constant just take this coordinate and this is going to be 1 comma 60 and take this coordinate which is going to be 0.25 comma 0 and just calculate the gradient let me show you so 60 minus 0 over 1 minus 0.25 and you get 80 newtons per meter second third part you have to shade the area that represents the work done from 0 to 40 so when you go back to the graph you go to 40 you make a vertical line so ye 0.75 pe aayegi remember you always shade the area with the extension or the length axis so this is the area that you shade to represent the work done